Everybody say good morning. Good morning. Let me see if I got my volume up. Please tell me your dad didn't see this. All right, I heard somebody. There's Gentry, Gemma, Bracken, Grant, Maggie. Somebody else is coming on. Hello. 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 Jacob, Laney. Hello. I had to come to church today, so I had to grab a few friends that were sitting inside the service. Wow, we got lots of people logging on today. Nikki. Yes. Hey, busted Brian's truck window out last night while we were sleeping. Who did? We don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's outside cleaning up glass out of the driveway. Oh man. Hey Jacob, I loved your pictures by the way that you made. The pictures that opened up. It went rah. I love that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to do Kahoot at the end. Yay. Oh, I know. That's right. You guys can all work here. Hey, dude, you're blocking my view. <laughs> All right, if you feel free to, if you can't see the screen, just come on in here. I see Bailey. All right, it is 9.47. How y'all doing this week? Good. Good. I think we might be able to get together in September at church officially, so. Who's excited? Me. These two were sitting in service and I said, hey, why don't you just come sit with me? And they've got, she's got her mask on still. She's so, so good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me get this bad boy started. Me. Hey, Ruben, I can hear you talking, dude. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Can everybody see? What are you doing? There you go. All right, so hey guys, how's it going? It's great to see you. It's been a really fun month so far on our virtual jump. And we're looking at what it means to be creative because God has given us each a gift of creativity. And we're gonna remember that Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. So there are tons of ways to be creative, like painting, writing, playing music. You can also be creative by building things and solving problems, right? So since art is a fun way to use your creativity, I've got a drawing game for you today. Does everybody have a piece of paper and a pencil? You have your piece of paper and a pencil? Because we're going to play draw it. Yes, I do. Go grab one if you don't have one yet. Show me your piece of paper and pencil. All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're just gonna go a couple at a time and hopefully we can get through a lot of you, but I may actually have you two work together over here. So you guys can work together, but I'm gonna use them as examples for the ones that are working through the Zoom. Okay, so guys, the play of the draw it game. Ah, can't get out of here. Let me see, there we go. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna pick a couple people in Zoom. We gotta get really creative because you guys are obviously there and we're here. So 
to work together, we're going to have to be really creative on how we do this. So I'm going to have two people working together. I'm going to give each of you a word. And so one person's going to start off first with trying to draw it. And then the net, we're going to stop that person. And then the next person's not only going to draw what you just drew, drew but then they're going to draw some, something else that would be in, like, say I said, draw a pencil. I mean, this is just a plain example. Say I said, draw a pencil. I gave you 10 seconds and you started with two lines and that's all you got to. So the next person would have to draw, come up on their own paper because obviously you're there and they're there. So you would draw the two lines and maybe the ends of the pencil. Does everybody get it? Yeah? Shake your head, thumbs up. Okay. Do we have volunteers to try this creative draw it? Okay, I see Jacob and Rebecca raising their hands. So here's what we're gonna do. Jacob, I'm gonna give you the word. Let me unmute you. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna private message you the word. And remember, hold it up because the people are gonna have to guess what you guys are drawing, all right? Don't say what you're doing. Yeah, so don't say what it is. <clears throat> so when it's... Close your eyes, Ruben. Hey, Ruben, stop. Shoot. Sure. Sure. Can you go to my office? Will it just show up? Close your eyes. Don't look at the words, my kids and Bailey and Eliza. All right. Jacob has the word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jacob, you have 10 seconds right now to go and draw that first part of it. Did you get the word? Yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. You guys wanna come up here and look at what he's drawing? Okay, stop, Jacob. Hold up what you drew so Rebecca can draw it real quick, what you drew. Okay, hold, hold it up, up to the screen. Right here by your, so they can see it. Okay. Rebecca, quickly draw that. Can she see it? Yep, she can see it. Keep it up. Does anybody have a guess so far what it is? Maggie behind Grant? You. Behind you. Oh, who's behind me raising their hand? Um, the girl in the blue dress. Eliza, what do you think it is? Oh, she, she said a smoothie. No. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hey, Becca, you were only supposed to draw what he drew, and then I was going to give you 10 seconds. All right. So Becca's going to start now. Grant and Maggie, I didn't hear you guys say anything, so I, you guys speak up loud. I know I still can't hear it. Go. 10, 9, okay, 8, 7. That's all you're going to add? 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Okay, now it's Jacob's turn to add to it. Does anybody want to guess what that is? I know. <laughs> Let them guess. Oh, my carrier. A what? Um, I don't really know. Bracken, what do you think it is? Eliza, what do you think it is? Eliza said a hamburger. That's what I said. No, That's what Bracken said. You guys are getting really close. Okay, Jacob, go. Draw oh. some more. Five, four, three, two, one. Show us what you got. Okay. Hamburger. Okay, it's not. It's, no, it's not yeah, hamburger. Get more details in there, guys. And is anybody else? Cheeseburger. Bracken no. and Ruben, say it loud. Cheeseburger. Yes. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Who wants to go next? Okay. I see Gemma and Bracken. Sit down. You can guess. All right, a minute. You guys close your eyes. So you don't see the word. All right, Gemma and Bracken. Who wants to go first in the ten seconds? Gemma? Okay. All right. I'm going to send you guys both the word. Okay, 
Okay. All right, Gemma, you're starting it off. You got 10 seconds. Okay, stop, Gemma. Let Bracken see so he can draw what you did. Over, over, over. Get it close. Get it close. Really, really close. Okay, Bracken, draw that, what she just drew. No, hold it up, Gemma, hold it up. He's got to draw what you drew. He's adding to what you drew. Looks like a circle with some lines, Bracken. Yeah. Bracken, hurry up and draw the circle with the lines because you're going to add to that. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to add to that. Tell me when you've got the circle with the lines. Is that what she did? We can't see any lines. We can just see the circle. Yeah. Oh, it kind of looks like little rays of the sun lines is okay. what it looks like. Okay. But that's not what it is, guys, so don't guess the sun because I wouldn't say the word. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Bracken? Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay, stop. Show us what you got so we can guess a little bit. Uh, Get really close. What do you guys think that is? I said don't guess the sun, Ruben. I said that. So stop. Ruben and Maggie, you're going to have to yell super loud because I can't hear you guys. A basketball. A basketball? Beach ball. Beach ball? Nope, no beach ball. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Ferris, wheel. Ferris wheel. Okay, Gemma, draw exactly what Bracken just did on his picture, and I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Did you get it all, Br Gemma? Tell me when you got a Bracken did. Gemma, tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, go. No, you, you're supposed to keep drawing for 10 seconds. Draw as much as you can on it. And you're gonna have to get it super close to the camera when you're done. Just think about what Bracken's holding up and then he's gonna add to it. Okay, stop, Gemma. Hold it up. I know. I think I know what it is. Get it super close. Okay. You guys see that? It's kind of frozen, so you should be able to. I can't. Octopus. Octopus. Is it an octopus? No. No. Squid. Squid. No. Grant, yell really loud. Ferris wheel. No Ferris wheel. Squid. All right, Bracken. Draw what she drew in the middle there. On yours. Hold it up, Gemma. Tell me when you're ready, Bracken. Ready. All right, go. Draw as much as you can on it. Go, Bracken. After this, if they don't guess it, we're going to tell them what it is. Five, four, three, two. Are you done? Hold it up. Okay, what is it, guys? Spider web. Spider web. Yell it out, everybody. Spider web. Good job. I said spider, not a spider web. It's a spider web. So, all right, Lainey, do you want to go next? Eliza, do you want to go? Okay. I want to go. Sit down. All right, we're going to do Lainey and Eliza. Let me pick a word real quick. Don't you look rude and Wayne. All right, I got a good one. Okay. Close your eyes, Rebecca. Don't look. I'll tell you. Who wants to go first, Eliza or Lainey? Lainey. When, with the 10 seconds. If you guys are adding to what you're doing. Okay. 
All right, Lainey, you're gonna go first. All right, tell me when you're ready. Go. Okay, stop. Show it to Eliza so she can see. All right, Eliza, draw that on your paper. Pull it up a little bit. There you go. Can you see it? Keep it up there. I'll tell you when to take it down. Right. Are you ready to add? Who got here? Just, just do it real quick. If you're gonna add to it. All right, we're gonna call that good, okay, Eliza? All right, Eliza's getting ready to add 10 seconds to her, the drawing, okay? Ready, set, go. Ruben, out. Okay, so that's what you got. That's what she drew. <laughs> Party banner. Party banner. Party dinner? What did you draw? Oh, you drew a little person. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Okay. Are you sure? All right. Lainey, add to that. What? What did you say? Somebody on the beach. No, that's not it. Go, Lainey. Tell me when you're ready. Ocean. Okay. Did you draw what she drew? Ruben, I really need you to stop. You're setting a bad example for Bailey. Bailey, tell Ruben to act right, okay? <laughs> All right, Lainey. Let's see what you got. Okay, guys, what is it? Do you know? Ruben, are you looking? You're supposed to be guessing. Bailey, you want to guess? It's right here. Uh, okay. Okay. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. No. Go ahead and draw some more. Draw what she drew on the bottom. Take. A cake? No, Bracken, do you have a guess? What'd you say? Teeth. Yes, he got it. Yes. Teeth. Way to go. I can't believe you got that. That was a dentist she drew. Oh my gosh, Bracken's on it. All right. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna, if we have time, we can do it a little bit later. So we need either Grant or Maggie. Grant, okay, chill. And Gentry. <laughs> I'm gonna have you and Bailey do it, okay? All right, let me pick out my word. All right, Grant, are you ready? Close your eyes, my children. Ruben, Rylan, get off. Okay, here it comes, Grant. Here it comes, Gentry. Who's gone first, Gentry or Grant? Me. Grant? Okay, Grant, are you ready? Do you see the word? Okay, ready? Grant, set, Grant, are you ready? Go. You got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Show us what you got. Gentry, get ready to draw what he did. Over, over. I can't see. I can't see. Over, up, over, yeah. back. No, nope, we're only seeing the blank spot. There you go. Gentry, quickly draw what he did. You can't see it that much. Well, you know the word, Gentry, so you should know. <laughs> All right.
right, Gentry, tell me when you got what Grant had, and then I can give you 10 seconds. I need you to stop now. Now. You're setting a really bad example. Really bad. All right, Gentry, are you ready? Gentry Parker, yeah. are you ready? Okay, 10, go. <laughs> okay, all right, get it close. Guess what it is, guys? A right calendar. House? A calendar. A calendar? Yes. Good job. Good job. All right, guys, we're going to hand it over to Miss Welty for our story time. Hey. Hey, girl. Hi. I'm going to call you later, by the way. So answer your phone. Sit down, Reuben Wayne. Now. Bailey, do you want to okay. see her? So, today's story would have been super fun to do in a pre corona jump. So, I'm sorry in advance if it's not as fun because of that reason. So, uh, we've had a lot of fun this month seeing how God's creativity all throughout the big story, right? So from the beginning of time, God's creativity has been on display through all the things he created, including us. Um, this week, we're diving into a story in the New Testament when Jesus was on the earth going around teaching and performing miracles. So there was a man named Mark who recorded many things that happened during that time in Jesus's life. The stories that Mark wrote are found in the book of a Bible. Does anybody know which book they're in? The stories from, oh, you're unmuted. Sorry. Guess you're what? Up. I'm going to give you a clue. Oh, I got them unmuted. Okay. Guys, what book, where do you find the book? The stories that Mark wrote. What book do you think they're in? The stories that Mark wrote. So no. I no. Bible. No. Where's Hadessa when I need her? She yeah. always gets me. Okay, the, Mark, the stories wrote that Mark wrote are probably going to be in the book of. There you go, Eliza. Say it louder. Mark. <laughs> Good job, Eliza. Oh, I said Mark too. You did. Sorry, Jacob. Yeah, the book of Mark, right? Like if Jacob wrote some stories, he might. They might be in the book of Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. What was a book? A so Jesus had been hit healing people and he became very famous for the amazing things that he had done. In fact, when Jesus began teaching and healing in Galilee, he was so popular that he got mobbed anytime he entered a town. That just means people came from everywhere trying to find him because he was super famous, right? He, uh, for a while, Jesus stayed outside of towns in the wilderness, but even there, people tracked him down. He got a Words from the town that Jesus had come. One day, as Jesus taught in a home, a crowd gathered. So many people gathered to hear him teach that there was no room in or around the house. The house was so full of people. So if we were in church right now, we would all get together and sit really, really, really close to each other. So we were super duper crowded, but there's so many reasons why we can't do that right now. So just imagine... If I had to sit like this with Bracken all day long, how miserable would that be? If you have a sibling that you're sitting beside or like if your dad is creeping behind you right now, think about if you had to sit how close with like this with them all day long. Would that be any fun at all? No, Bracken smells bad, stinky breath, just being so close to somebody. Laney, are you feeling the same way right now? <laughs> So, if we were in church, we would all crowd super close together so we could feel how that would feel, but it would not be super fun. So, um, it would be really hard to hear what Jesus was saying, right? Because even if you say, be quiet, be quiet, people are still going to talk and whisper, and there's just so many people in a room. So, all these people still came to see what Jesus was talking about. So, also living in the same town was a man who couldn't walk at all. So this guy still wanted to hear Jesus too, right? But like they didn't have cars and stuff back then. So um, he had to find a way to get to him. So he had probably heard about this man who had healed sick people. And so if he could get to Jesus, then he was hoping that Jesus could heal him. But there was a really big problem. Everybody else went running after Jesus to hear him teach or be healed by him. But this man was left behind because he couldn't run after Jesus. 
So this man did have four friends who really, really cared about him. So these four friends were about to change this guy's life forever. The four men carried their friend to the home where Jesus taught. So they picked him up and they all four worked together to carry him to the help to where Jesus was. So the men couldn't get close to Jesus, no matter how hard they tried. There were just too many people in there. So think about if the room was full and these four grown men were trying to carry another grown man, that would be really hard, right? You couldn't push through the crowd. So Miss Nikki, do you think they're going to work? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> you want me to make the noises for you? Yes, I want you to make the noises. Okay, so everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. And imagine in your head what you think is going to happen right now, okay? So listen to the sounds of what happened next. <laughs> okay. The four, the four men cared so much about their friend that they didn't let anything stand in their way. They climbed to the top of the house and dug around in the roof above Jesus. They made a hole in the roof, then they lowered the man on the mat through the oh. hole. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed and imagine how you would feel if you were there. You probably feel shocked at what these men had done, but Jesus saw their faith and was impressed. This is what he said. Hey, you can open your eyes. He said, son, your sins are forgiven. You can imagine that the teachers of the law who were really upset to hear Jesus say that. They believed that only God could forgive sins, and they couldn't believe Jesus was God's son. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he said to them, why are you thinking these things? It is easier to say to this man, your sins, is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So Jesus wasn't done, though. He told the man to get up, take his mat, and go home. So what did Jesus do to the man? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could the man walk at the beginning of the story? No, but, nope. now he can walk. No, but said, then Jesus walk. said, get up, take your mat, and get out of here. So what did he Jesus do? He can't really he help him walk. No, he healed him so he could yeah. walk now. The other man carried him, but Jesus healed him. Yeah. He just healed him. Right, he healed him. He made him so he could walk. So what would you think if you saw this happen? You'd be pretty amazed, right? This man was probably someone they all knew, and they all knew he couldn't walk. But Jesus had healed him right in front of their eyes. So this is how Mark describes their response. He said, all people were Praise God and said it. We have never seen anything like this. You know what? You okay? So if we were all still crowded, then this is when I would say, "Go back to your seats." But we're not. <laughs> so Jesus had shown everyone in that crowded house just how powerful He is. He could heal a man and make him walk again, and He could forgive people's sins. So think about the creativity it took those four men to get their friend to Jesus. They didn't let anything stop them because they knew Jesus could help him. They worked together and their friend met Jesus and sure enough, Jesus healed him. So God gives us the ability to work together too. So the bottom line is God created you to work with others. So there's so much we can do when we come together to use our creativity along with other people. So let's pray and ask God to help us work with others. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, you've given us creativity and imaginations and talents and skills, and we know you made us to use those things together. It's much more fun to work with others, and we can create so much more together. Help us look for ways to work with others. We want to share your love as we find ways to help other people together. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Miss Courtney. All right, so God made each of us in his own image, and he wants us to work together to share his love with the people around us. With the creativity God gives us, we can do so much more together than we could ever do by ourselves, right? You guys all realize if we work together, we can get a lot more done, right? So we remember God created you to work with others. Can you yes. guys do that with me? 
God created you to work with others. Let's try it again. Let me unmute you this time. <laughs> created God created you, created you to work with, work with others. others. Right. So the next time you see a big project, think about how you could work with others to accomplish it. Maybe it's helping your family in your neighborhood because their mom is really sick. You could get a few friends together to help her out by entertaining their younger kids, right? If they're your age and you want to play with them or even doing yard work for them may help. So maybe your parents want to chip in by buying her some groceries or making her dinner. If we all share our creativity, we can make a big difference together. So it's like we always say here at Jump and our virtual drum. This is what we always say. I should treat others the way I want to be treated, right? That's called the golden rule. Remember, it's I should treat others the way I want to be treated. When we work together, we remind each other of how God made us to be creative. And we can put our creativity get together as we find ways to lend a hand. So remember this week. God created you to work with others, right? All right, guys, go ahead and get your Kahoot devices. Ready. Okay, if you want to work with Rebecca, you can. You all can gather around her. Let me make Miss Welty the host. It's already up if you turn on your turn the phone on. I already have her. I don't see it. Yeah, it's not up yet. I got to make Courtney the host. There we go. There you go, Courtney. Got it. Y'all can come around the screen right here. Here. She's trying to help you. Oh, Parker Girls. Z. Feeling a little funky today, Parker Girls. R. R. Eliza. Eliza, if you don't care. They. And I'm okay for you. So you guys are all working together. Uh, Lydia, Lydia, no, no, it's just a shorter version. Version Rebecca. Okay. There you go. All four are in the screen. Well, you're moving the thing, and I don't like it. Oh. Am I waiting on Laney? Hello. Sweet Laney. There she is. Is that everybody? Hey. All right. I'll read. She'll read the questions, okay, baby? What was it like that day in the home in Capernaum? Was it empty, bare, super crowded, or lonely? What do you think it was? What was it like in the home that day? Ribbon, stop. Yeah, it was super crowded. Good job. All right. What did the man's friends do when he got left behind? Did they just leave him there? They helped him walk? They built him a wheelchair? Or they worked together and carried him? What did the friends do when he got left behind? Yeah, they worked together and carried him. Remember, he couldn't walk at all. Jesus, help him. Get all the questions. Just stop. Up. Lead. Go up to the top. How did the man get close to Jesus? He just walked right up to him. His friends made a hole in the roof and lowered him in. Jesus was waiting for him ready, or he moved everybody else out of the way. Yeah, his friends made a hole in the roof and lowered him in. They couldn't get everybody out of the way. It was too crowded. And they Good job. Jake's still in the lead. What did Jesus do to the man? 
What? He sang him a song. Did he oh. heal him? Did he yeah. talk to him? Yeah, he healed him. Made him be able to walk in a pole. How would you have felt if you saw this happen? Amazed, scared, excited, happy. How would you have felt? You feel, Bailey. I would be too. Both red and yellow. Yeah. And green. Oh, that is red. It was just a poll to see how you felt. That didn't have a right or wrong. So, amazed or happy? Hey. Let's see. In third place, Grant. Second place, Maggie. Wow, made the top five. Good job. In first place, Jake. Jake. Good job, Jake. <laughs> Nikki, do you want to do another drawing thing or do you think we don't have enough time? I think we have enough time. <laughs> Maggie didn't get to go, did she? Can we do something? No. How much time do we have left? Three minutes and 20 seconds. You said three minutes? <laughs> Oh, Maggie. Hey, how about you guys? If I send you guys a word, you guys do it real quick. Grant and Maggie. Okay. All right. And you guys have to keep showing it to us. All right. Here's the word, guys. Hurry up. You're going to have to hurry really, really quick. There you go. The first person who's going is Maggie. So on your mark, get set. You see it? Yes. Go. Draw, Maggie. Okay, stop, Maggie. Show us what you got. Grant, you draw that while she's showing it to us. Over, up, 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 up. Over a little bit. Can anybody guess? There you go. Elephant. Chocolate apple. Elephant. It's an elephant. I think it's All a right. caramel apple. A caramel apple. I don't think it's a caramel apple. Okay, Grant, tell me when you've drawn what she's drawn so I can give you the 10 seconds to add. You ready? All right, I'm going to start the time because we're running out of time. So go. 10. Okay, show us. Back it up a little bit. Back up. Uh oh, you guys are frozen. What is it, guys? A uh, you're getting close. Dinosaur giraffe. Turtle. No, you guys are on the right track. Maggie, it's your turn. Add, add, add. Hurry. Yeah, I guess you guys could have just used the same paper. I didn't know why I thought of that. You didn't need to redraw. Okay, show us what you got. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Keep Turkey? guessing on the things that you guys saw earlier. Turkey? It looks like it's got lines going down it. No, it's not a donut. You guys were closer with the animals. Okay, Grant, go. She said it. Say it louder. Zebra. Zebra. Good job. All right, guys. Awesome job. We'll see you next week on Zoom, but I have a feeling we're getting closer to meeting in person, and I'm going to call Lee, Michelle, and Courtney here today real soon. So... Make sure your mommies answer their phones. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. And Courtney, so, we're going to end it. There's eight seconds left, so I'm just going to let it just. Seven. Everybody wave frantically.